Hello, I'm Paul Warren. Um, I'm not strictly an illustrator, I'm not strictly an artist. I'm a bloke who enjoys drawing. I ask myself this question, why do I do it daily? And I can't find an answer that gets beyond because I enjoy it. There's more to it than that, a lot more. There's something creative burning away inside me. Whether it relates back to teenage years and, and not going to art college, which I constant source of re regret. My father wanted me to go, but uh, I knew better. And I didn't go and I didn't have an arts career. And whether or not it's all pent up, I don't know. It might not be. When I retired from full-time employment, I've drawn sort of solids. Well, I rented studio space and, and drew conventionally painted acrylics and soft pastel and so on. And then the, the, the studios where we were used to have uh, an annual event where the studios were open. And one of the other artists, to, to the public, one of the other artists came into my space with an iPad, took a photograph of a, a drawing that I'd got on wall for the public to come and have a look at. And there it was, and he started drawing over it, changing it, adapting it, and it was like a, a eureka moment for me. You know, crikey, I can do that. All I need is an iPad. And I eventually got an iPad, a couple of days later, and uh, I've drawn on an iPad ever since. You know, and I, I just can't get enough of it, really. It's what I do. I draw on an iPad. Whether or not you call that illustration, my drawings do have an element of illustration about them, but what I don't want to lose is the human touch. What I don't want is a complete picture. I want to suggest a moment or to allude to a moment, or indeed capture a moment that was there a moment ago and is no longer there apart from on the iPad screen or eventually a print of that moment. The drawing of that moment could be a print, but that's what it is. And it, it, as soon as that drawing is finished, I'm straight on to the next moment, like moments Moments come, moments go, just like the drawings. That's how I operate, well, and that's how it's developed. I've developed into that sort of modus operandi, I suppose you'd call it. What I'm trying to do is let the reader bring a, a sort of content into reading, as well as looking at the drawing, reading the text, and having something going off in her own mind, his or her own mind, an additional sort of dimension to it. So, so I, the drawing suggests a possibility of what the text is explaining. So if you didn't see the text, but you saw the drawing, you'd have some idea where the story is going or where it's been. That's all I'm thinking. It's not an explicit yes, no, this is it. It's a suggestion of what might be, of what possibility it is. I've been in uh, collaboration with the writer Nick Owen and illustrated two of his books. One book, the first book, The Confessions of an Aging Tennis Player, was published last year and the sequel to that book, The Courting Lives of an Aging Tennis Player, is being compiled right now. With a uh, Kickstarter campaign running to raise funds for its publication in the summer of this year. There's a phrase keeps running through my mind. Laugh and the world laughs with you.